Hi, it's Joanne Bauman with Prairie Magic Herbals, blogging for Mother Earth Herbal Living Online. Today we're out in the garden and in the two-part video, I'm showing you the difference between elderberry, Sambucus canadensis, and pokeberry. Pokeberry in video number two. This is elderberry. As you can see, when elderberries are fully ripe, they're a blue blackberry and they droop in clusters or umbrals. Um, you can also see that they have the reddish on the stem. The leaves of the elders are jagged. Elderberry is good for immune support and cold and flu season. So I've been working with elderberry, making elderberry syrup, which is very yummy. That's made with honey, cooking the berries down. And then I also tincture elder. We'll show you the difference between an elderberry size and the poke. The poke is on the right. It's about the size, maybe a little bit smaller than a blueberry, about the size of a blueberry. And on the left is the elderberry. Elderberry is more about the size of a BB. So that's one way you can tell. And I'm going to show you also some of the elder in, um, before it is completely buried. And it will still be green and developing. And we'll just show you some of the different umbrals as they're developing on the elder and the size of the elder so that you get a good look at it. So this is elderberry in video two. We're going to walk over and show you a little bit more about pokeberry. Elderberry is a wonderful medicinal plant. Chances are our elders probably worked with elderberry and used it for medicine. It's a very healing, uh, edible, as well as medicinal tree. Um, we can cook those and use them in muffins and um, dishes that we're cooking. You can make elderberry vinegar, you can make syrup, you can tincture it, and we can find out more information about elder online. But I don't want you to get confused and get pokeberries. So pokeberries coming up in video number two.